Hello everyone and welcome on in. This is the first time I'm doing anything like this and I'm so excited to have you guys here with me. I'm just gonna sit here and tell you how excited I am for this um, with this little emote and say welcome to my first ever Animal Crossing um, build with me. Now, um, that being said, um, this is the first time I've ever been doing this, so, I mean, please bear with me. I am still very new to this. I've been so inspired by other creators that I just had to try this out for myself. And I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. I love it so much that, um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just take some pictures like this, cause it's just it's so beautiful but this is the um, the post office so you can sit here and write your little little letters to Santa and um, yeah I think I think it's just so cute it's right by my house I've also decorated my house for Christmas as you can see um, I'm revamping my whole island so there is lots to do so aside from that, I wanted to do a double flick for you guys, if you'll have me. And I wanted, <gasps> I hear a balloon. Oh my God. There it is. You are mine. What am I doing? I'm opening up all the things I don't need. Where are you balloon? Okay, well, maybe, nah, this is too far. Oh my God. There we go. All right, I've got a lot of things in my inventory right now. I've been I've been on the hunt. Dartboard, meh. I've been on the hunt for Christmas DIYs. It's been it's been an effort, is what I will say. I'm also adjusting all of where my I used to have my villagers all in their own little resident area, but now I'm adjusting all of them to be a little bit more fun. So um, that will be something to showcase to you guys later on. But this is the other area that I have created. So here is my little writing area for Dobby. So this is this is Dobby's house right here. And I thought it would be really cute if he was by the sea and got to enjoy writing and um, just doing a whole bunch of like inspirational things by the ocean is how I was feeling about this. Um, so so yeah, I, I, I absolutely love the way this looks. Uh, I hope you guys agree that it's just super adorable and um, feel the same way as I do. But, I mean, who doesn't want to just write by the sea like this? But without further ado, let's get right on to the video. Um, there was a little bit of adjustments I did after the fact, like the, um, just, just other little DIY things that I added, like pillows that looked like, um, packages that I added later on past the stream. Also keep in mind this was footage that I took from my stream and I will speed it up with you guys but without further ado I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get cozy and get ready to watch the video. Thanks everyone. Enjoy. So first we need to do is add some pathing or something. Uh, I wasn't really sure how I felt about the carpet until after I put it down and got to see it a little bit just because it had like the little frayed bits right in the middle and I wasn't really sure how I felt about that so I definitely asked my community and saw what they thought and turns out everyone was okay with it. So I also wanted to add in a couple of stones here and there just because I felt that um, I kind of knew that, that the um, post office was going to go a little bit outside of this space so I thought it was a good idea to add in some stoning and then I've seen a lot of people using these like apothecary type of um, boards that you just adjust the the simple panels and I just thought it really added a little something to it. I also really loved having this right beside a um, you know, like a, a higher up area just to give it some some space and some definition. So I had this little writing table that I had in my office, uh, in my um, 
in my house so I decided to put that down and I'm really digging the little stools right now so I decided that I would use the little stools and adjust what I have there and from there I added in the fireplace and um, any other little things I had that I thought would work really well with the fireplace. Now, it was just a matter of, it's always testing things, what way things look nicer. So it's always an adjustment to like add this, add that, take this away and try different things here and there. So that was um, adjusted pillows and um, I think they look absolutely adorable. I needed more uh, cardboard boxes. Now, time to add the other cardboard box, my mailbox. I got raided, by the way, while I was streaming. Um, then I added in some wrapping paper. And now I'm going to add in some flowers because I think they look just absolutely precious here. And then I also had a tree, so I wanted to add in the little tree. Here you guys can see what the front of my island looks like right now. It's definitely a work in progress and I'm so happy that the two trees right in front there became Christmas trees. I cannot believe what dumb luck. <laughs> so extremely happy about that and how the front of my island is looking. It's definitely, like I said, work in progress. All right, now time to work on the the little dock area. So I'm doing the same thing again with adding in really cute um, carpeting just because I feel like it makes things so much more cozy and then from there I just added a couple of the stone pathing again I just absolutely love adding that in it ties it all in into the theme I have for my island I have this um, teacher's desk so I'm going to add that right in the middle there and um, I feel that Dobby would be really into wanting to be cozy warm but also um, you know having a writer's block so I have um, a couple of different things that I want to give him like a little space heater because I mean it's cold so everyone needs their little space heater I also wanted to add in um, I had homework for now just because I didn't have my right my drawing or my writing utensils until later I needed to um, order them <laughs> so again it, again it's a lot it's a lot of trying this trying that what looks better as you can see I did adjust things as I went just because I wanted a little bit of space but also you know um, not everything like right beside him so I thought a clock would be good so that he can keep track of time and added in the space heater back because I did really like the idea of having it right beside him and having you know um, a more classic chair just because he's, he's he's an old guy he likes his old things and then adding in the Mayday suitcase I thought was a really perfect touch as well and there you have it everything that you need for your little drawing nook and your post office I would love to know what you guys thought right um what you guys would like to see in the description box down below and if you got this far put a little cup of tea for Dobby in the um, comment box. You guys are amazing. Thanks so much for being here and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye guys!